It's because he does not want you to open your eyes. He does not want you to know what I know. Because when you know what I know, it will be the end of the story for him. Now let me tell you this. We are with any. I said let me tell you this. We are with any Lukara. Once upon a time the people of Acholi used to own their land. The Lanis used to own their land. But you all know that land grabbing is at its highest today. People are being displaced from their lands. Because they are trying as much as possible to crush you and make you forget who you are. So I am here today not for a normal presidential election. This is not a normal presidential campaign. This is a revolution. I said this is a revolution. What I am wearing today, this is not a normal jacket. This is not a normal sweater. This is a bulletproof. And the bulletproof. You know why a president? You know why a presidential candidate has to wear a bulletproof? Because I must go through all those plates to come and open your eyes. And I'll tell you, my brothers and sisters. I'll tell you my brothers and sisters When you open your eyes Nobody can ever keep you as a slave I have, I have told people wherever I have been That Museveni is behaving like the colonialists when those white people came to Africa and they wanted to take our land and all the resources in our land they used the fellow Africans to enslave us and that is the same trick Museven is using he will come to a place like Komoro and pick your own son or your own daughter and, and give him a lot of money and he will use that person to enslave you that is why when I was coming to Omoro here, I saw the roads that are coming to Omoro. I know you, yeah. And I wondered whether this is where the Deputy Speaker of Parliament comes from. When you look at the schools in Omoro, you cannot believe this is where the deputy speaker of parliament comes. I was told there's only one secondary school in Omoro. This is where the deputy speaker comes from. There is no hospital in Omoro. When the women want to give birth, they have to travel to Kulu. This is where the deputy speaker comes from. So my brothers and sisters, <laughs> open your eyes. Open your eyes. I said open your eyes. The laws of Uganda say that all the power is in the hands of the people. Power is in the hands of the people. All power. Power do you? All power. Where do you? No power. So put up your hand if you want to. Tell your neighbor we are the people. 
Tell them we are the people. We are the people. Tell them we are the people. We are the people. Tell them we have the power. We have the power. Tell them we have the power. The only reason. No, 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 I'm talking okay. to you. Yeah. The only reason yeah. why the politicians come to you every five years and they give you 5,000 or 10,000 or a free yellow t-shirt is because you have the power. But they don't want you to know that you have the power. They are paying you so that you close your eyes. But I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, today I want you to know one thing, to take one thing from here, is the fact that you have the power. And you can use that power. I said you can use that power to change your life to change the life of your parents, to change the life of your children, and your grandchildren. Now, the last time I came here, I was a musician. I even had long hair like this. And I know many of you know me. And I know I am here because of the support and love of very many of you. I am not different from you. I am a common person like you. I am a ghetto person like you. But why am I running to be the next president of Uganda? Why am I running to be the next president of Uganda? Number one, I want to lead all of you brothers and sisters, especially the young people, to put an end to the Museveni dictatorship. For the first time in our country, I want us to have a president who is not a boss but a servant. Museveni has told all of us that is not our servant. He has told us that he's working for his children and his grandchildren. But brothers and sisters, we can change this country and make all the leaders our servants. Therefore, I'm standing before you not as a politician. But as a freedom fighter, I am here to represent the common people. I am here to represent these old people who, whose dreams have been betrayed for a long time. I am here to represent the women that die every day while giving life to the next generation. I am here to represent the farmers who farm but cannot get the right price for their farm products. I am here to represent the border border riders. I am here to represent the ghetto people that cannot find employment. Don't run away, my brothers and sisters. As a generation, we must conquer our fear. Museveni has ruled us on one thing called fear. But, but I want to tell you one thing. 
when you lose the fear for them they lose their power over you the only the, the only curtain that stands between us and our freedom the only barrier that stands between us and our freedom it is called fear it is called fear Fear is supposed to mean two things. For the cowards, fear means forget everything and run. But for the heroes, fear means another thing. It means face everything and rise. That is why Museven will tear gas us. That is why he will pepper spray us. That is why he will take us to prison. But we shall come out of prison bouncing. <laughs> yeah. We could go on and on and on and on, brothers and sisters. But because we have to rush and go to the next destination. And because our roads are still very poor. Let me give you this message. And I want to ask all of you. To send the same message to all those that we are scared to come and listen to me. First of all, tell them Bobby Wine is a common person like everybody else. Tell them Bobby Wine is not different from anybody else. And all of you can be Bobby Wines. So I am asking you to become the Bobby Wines of tomorrow. On the 14th of January, we are going to have a golden opportunity. And we are going to use that opportunity to remove a dictator. We are removing a dictator. We are removing a dictator. So I encourage all of you to come out in large numbers and vote. Put up your hand if you're a voter. Let me see. If you're a voter, let me see your hand. Even at the back, if you're a voter, let me see your hand. Yes. Now, okay. those, those hands are more powerful than guns. Come out on the 14th of January and vote massively. When you go to the ballot paper, you will not see the name Bobby Wine. You will see a name Chagulani Sentamu Robert. Robert Sentamu. And the symbol will be the umbrella. It is the same symbol that my brother Sikondo Okot is going to be using. So when you see the umbrella, when you see the umbrella, just stick. When you see the umbrella, just stick. When you see the umbrella, just stick. And after voting, please don't leave the polling station. Stay there and protect the vote. Make sure you get leaders that will respect you. My, my, by voting for a new leader, you will be voting for new roads. 
Majala waitika apolo kui piyo manyen no mero kubelam. By voting for new leader. Kei bulu kui kila tera manyen. You will be voting for new hospitals. Bulu kui pi oriat manyen bena. By voting for a new leader. Bulu kui. You will be voting for new schools. Bulu kui ki school manyen. But most importantly by voting for a new leader. Ma pia tere duru. You will be voting for freedom. Bulu kui pi lodge alwak. You will be voting for a new Uganda. Bulu kui pi Uganda manyen mare. Where all of us will be equal. Where every Ugandan will be equal. Where all of us 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 will to improve the life of our teachers. Villa kukuwa palufuye. To improve the life of our doctors and nurses. Doctor wa. Doctors kita doctor ma nti nti. To improve the life of our police officers. Villa kukuwa palufuye. In the new Uganda you will not. In the new Uganda you will not. In the new Uganda. I say in a new Uganda, you will never have to run away from a police officer. In a new Uganda, let me say it again, in a new Uganda, you will never have to run away from a police officer. The police officers will be our friends because they will be well paid. And they will have to treat the citizens of Uganda very well. I want to thank you, brothers and sisters. I come to you the way I am. I know they are going to bring for you money. I know they are going to bring for you t-shirts. I know they are going to intimidate you. But I want to tell you, especially you, the young people of Omoro, we are happy that we are united as a generation. They can no longer divide us according to tribe. They can no longer divide us according to religion. We are one, and Uganda is our home. Uganda, I am looking forward to coming back tomorrow as the new president of Uganda. I think I You president. Moving on the new roads. And seeing the end of poverty in Omoro. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for listening to me. I came with so much to tell you. But because of time, and because I have to go to another district, allow me to end here by thanking you very much. Let's go, 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 let's go